باز هست از جگیتا ای آیا ام اندرگراند از هاتا در تایم امای اکزاک لوکیشن نوویک دو یو کپی Please come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. of water probably unsafe for consumption I'd rather not risk it meteoric waters no. No. too deep let's hope it's not fossil otherwise I'll never reach the surface slippery terrain poor visibility considering all factors situation hopeless Please, I got flat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. my considered opinion. Fucked. Novik? If the radio is still receiving... broke or I'm in too deep. Maybe if I tweak the damn thing. I hear you. But you don't. Apparently. Oh, bollocks. I think I prefer it the other way around. Okay. Okay. I'm coming to you, Astrogator.
Astrogator. Astrogator? <sighs> Still nothing. I used to find all the reporting annoying. But the silence is even worse. Dark thoughts creep in. Dr. Gorski may already be dead. Something attacked me. It could have got to him too. I hope you're monitoring his vitals, Astrogator. And we'll come back for him. Unless I die here. I think it's this way. Stop. Did you really say that? I think I'm starting to freak out. against time, Yasna. We're fighting for our lives. Enough of this nonsense. I can't keep fighting. <laughs> Your timing is perfect, as usual. Any more advice? <laughs> huh, I thought so. <clears throat> you know, I did what I could. But it still wasn't enough. I have the right to finally give up. No. Not yet. I will not give up. I'll just... take a breather. Two days, 48 hours. Huh? What? I felt like a man before I had to fly away. I do it also break all the rules. More oh, unprocedural. Of 
course, you wouldn't let me die in peace. I still don't know if I can do it. All right. Somehow, it'll work. I did it. I did it, Astrogator. Too bad you can't hear me. I don't believe my eyes. Oh, bones of some prehistoric reptile. And coal deposits, I assume. Oh, finally, we have proof. There was life on the surface of Regis III. Millions of years ago. But... For some reason, now there's nothing. Not even bacteria or, or viruses. I'm starting to suspect that someone or something forces life into the water. Perhaps preventing it from moving ashore. If so, I think it's still happening today. The question is, have I encountered this thing already. Even more fossils. And without comms. No one will even know about this discovery if I'm stuck here. Unless HQ sends another expedition. And they will find those bones along with mine. You never seem to get tired, Novik. Novik. Do I really hear you? Or is my mind playing tricks on me? I don't know. Me too. What if something's waiting out there for me? Something that caused my fall. No. Don't hesitate. I will die if I stay here. A way out. Astrogator. I'm close. Damn it. I was sure he would hear me this time. Astrogator, I... I'm here. Over. Finally! Yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir... I've heard you all the way. Yes, sir. Are you saying... what? Um, I don't quite understand myself. All right. Let's leave that for now. Are you injured in any way? No. As usual, I came out of trouble unscathed. Uh, some would call it a blessing in disguise. I'm not calling it anything until I... Are you there? Do you copy? Uh, 
What the? What kind of deadly shit is this? Doctor, what are you talking about? There's something here. It looks like a machine. It burned a hole in the wall. And I was watching these kind of crab legs. Damn, you must evacuate immediately. It sounds like you know what it is, sir. No, I have my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. You're fucking kidding me, sir. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Aegis 3, they would have a huge advantage over us. So why would they confront our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they waste time on some shady diversion. did something <laughs> as if I don't know I don't know I saw the readings gave a distress signal and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement currently it does not respond to commands <laughs> I'll check on it <sighs> I found a box also a switch Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. I guess it's busted for good. <sighs> you guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible is not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. flatter me. Probe. It... it distracted the antimat. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save the call. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Asta. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've, I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. Oh. 
Okay. Hit cool down. Are you talking about the probe call? Huh. Well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. Time to get out of here. Oh, not good. I simply don't get a break. What is that this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. You don't have to finish. I understand. You did what you could. No. I did what I thought was right. Come on, Doctor. He didn't die due to lack of oxygen. He bled out, likely from the fall. Enough! I've heard enough. By the way, how long have we... Oh, damn it. The storm's getting worse. It's the longest 20 minutes of my life. Take. For me, it, it felt like eternity. I was beginning to hallucinate from the stress. Started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Are you driving? I'm going. 
coming. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Oh, shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out and escape. In a vehicle, it's, it's kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge it to the ground. Everything will be fine. You'll see. I remember a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, an engineer, and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation, and we crashed the rocket. Then we put it back together. For whatever was on hand, it was quite a machine. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures. You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how far am I from the city's border? Now, considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse. You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. Status? How are you doing, Yasna? I'm still alive. The signal's just weak. Unfortunately, yes, but it's hardly surprising. to a cave. The storm has subsided. I found a place to hide. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. 
Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Emmets are equipped with a black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. We uh, must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. Then you can think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Eureka, cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And press down. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. <sighs> okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the flight? Uh, most probably. No one is transmitting from the base. I suggest you lie down. The storm's raging. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. B? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Next is... Yes, sir? I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. And let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. So? 
Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator, the city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Have you checked on Koval, by any chance? Yes, among other things. And? How is he? He's stable. But? There are no buts, Doctor. You'll see him soon. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. It looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir? I wasn't keen on this mission from the start. We were supposed to return a long time ago. And that's what I want. I want all of us to return home, dead or alive. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other... tasks. traversing this planet I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists what can exist I must admit it's an interesting thought but quite disturbing I won't need the lander Mr. Peter what do you mean? you know very well what I mean sir I'm not coming back yes, this is sheer madness you're heading straight to the enemy base this is the only way I can find out what's going on here. What happened to our people? Uh, I have several hours of travel ahead of me. You can still turn back. No. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. Fine. I'll stop insisting. Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. Because by putting yourself in their hands, you're risking not only your own life, but also the rest of the crews. I totally understand. Can't wait for a few more hours. I still need your support, sir. Yeah. And I still want to be here to help you. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere.
They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, sir. Yes? I understand that no matter what I say won't change your mind. But please be careful. First, observe them from a distance. And only then take action. I will be cautious. Like always. Just because I'm acting against your orders doesn't mean I intend to be foolish, sir. It's comforting in its own way that even in an act of insubordination you want to remain professional. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend, or under a ledge, telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that. Set up a warning signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. Is hidden. You've yet to find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base. Oh shit. I think I'm too far away. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? It's a field base, multi-module, for about several dozen people, rather well equipped. Lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't assign anyone to guard duty. Is that all? I think so. Then please keep going. We can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Still, I'm glad that I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Me too, Doctor. Me too. We'll most likely lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. We cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Hang on, sir. What exchange? I'm not a spy. I'm a scientist. I'm afraid that doesn't change anything. You want information about Regis Three. For that reason alone, they might consider you a spy. But what kind of spy exposes themselves to direct questions? A desperate one, Doctor.
Since we have no idea what's going to happen, I want you to know that you were always a fair commander, even if you were quite strict. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Please, stop, Doctor. You can tell me when you get back, in person. Understood? Yes, sir. Access to the base is protected by a force field. Hmm. If these are Dirac emitters, and I'm sure they are, nothing will get through. Is there an opening from the other side? I'll see. How odd. What? There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's... I'm going. What have I got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. I'm going in. Clear. For now. I can't hear anyone either. I'm at the central module. In the headquarters. You walked in, just like I've that. I've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. Uh, there isn't much of it. Single record. Poor guy. He's dead. Waited help for over a day. Critically low blood saturation. He died of hypoxia. At the time of his death, he was. Biafna, is it necessary? This information will no longer so help I anyone. The city. One, eight, five, six, one... Seven, five, four. Yes. It's Gorski. I'm sorry. You... You lied to me. You lied how he died. I knew you would blame yourself. Well, of course I do. I could have saved him. 
left in the fucking tank. Why didn't you let me? I made the right decision, Yasna. Given the circumstances and our knowledge at the time, there was a high risk your sacrifice would kill you both. Fuck. We let him die. No, Yasna. As I said, I made the call, not you. It would be easier to think so, but I can't. One more thing. I realize we still need to work together. So, I'll submit my reports as usual. But that doesn't mean everything's fine. Understood, Doctor. I appreciate your professionalism. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including dates. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Huh. Seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Well, like us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Uh, quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found... Oh, you won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of work. Oh, 20 we still in day. Day. They sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh! To the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? Oh, surely they could detect him. They, they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So, that was their last move? Well... There's no information about their return. Maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Astrogator, this doesn't make any sense. You can't just wrap up the whole operation. Anyway, the first thing they would take were vehicles and equipment. Only the people are missing here. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well... It's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator. They must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. I'm entering the next module. Force fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. looking mm -hmm. not here either ah, bingo yes found it they're still on the planet didn't fly away good to know thank you
leaving the base. Going after the convoy. Okay, so one of the robots moved away from the perimeter. It stands all by itself. On a distant hill. It's active, I guess. Doesn't it know how to get back? Do you think it's worth investigating? I, I guess everything's worth investigating now. Casting a message. One of their people is in trouble. Sounds suspicious. Did they go away and leave someone behind? Doesn't add up. Robot, do you understand me? He's not responding. The robots are called Arctans. Ah. Arctan, answer me. Over. I confirm. Over. Oh, you can talk to them after all. Arctan, lead to the human in danger. It worked. The robot moved. I'm at the spot. Astrogator, we can't help this man anymore. He died a long time ago. Surprisingly long. I found his journal.
Anything of importance in there? Hmm, let's find out.
secrets and personal notes. Nothing useful to us. 